That's right, New Star Radio 98.7, Trevor Jr. Urban Gospel Flavors till 3 this afternoon. Have your brain teasers cap on. We will be giving away two tickets this weekend. I do believe we're giving away some CDs as well. All courtesy of the man about to give us an interview with, and his name is Freddie Lee. As always, it gives me a great pleasure to welcome him to the airwaves of New Star Radio. Good afternoon, Freddie. How are you? Good afternoon, Trevor. Man, I'm doing wonderful, man. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. So very much for having me. It's a pleasure having you here on New Star Radio 98.7. Now, before we actually go into your story, Freddie, tell us a bit about yourself. Who, who's Freddie? Well, Freddie Lee is basically an old country boy <laughs> yes. from South Florida. Okay. You know, coming from the uh, near the historical Lake Okeechobee down there in South Florida. Mm -hmm. We call it Muck City. Muck City. Muck City, man. Okay. I tell you, we grew up chasing rabbits and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm, a, I'm a good old country boy, man, and mm -hmm. born in a family of uh, seven. Mm -hmm. And um, That's a big family, Freddie. A big family, Where man. Where do you fit in that number? I'm in the middle of it all. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been spoiled then. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people seem to think I'm my mom's favorite, but I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful. And, um, and actually... You're actually residing over here now, I take it? Yes, I am. I okay, am. I'm wonderful. In. Now, how did the actual uh, journey begin for you, actually, on this road, this journey or this Christian life? The Christian life for mm. me, I mean... What actually kicked it off for you? Is it something that's actually mm. happened? What, what happened for me, I mean, it mm. happened a long time ago. With my, yeah. my grandmother was uh, played a, a very big part of that, mm -hmm. you know, being in high school and in middle school. You know, in most African American communities, they everybody want a minister, at least a preacher in the family. And for some reason, look like I was that person. Okay. <laughs> they had chose me a long time before I even knew it. All right. And um, I used to run away or shy away from from being in the church and all of that. But my grandma was the one with you know make me get out and go to church, go to choir practice, you know, say things like, boy, you about to get out of there, you going to practice today, and all this kind of stuff. Yes. And my granny was something, but she pushed me in the right direction and yes. I found music was my form of escapism yes because back in Pahokee it's a small small community like 5,600 people okay in the whole community and I mean it's not very much there mm. and uh, but one thing we do have you got a lot of people that do look out for one another okay you mentioned choir so the singing side for you was mm -hmm. there any inspiration in actually bringing up the actual talent out of you the singing side yeah yeah um, I I grew up listening to like Sam Cook and the Soul wow. Stores, and, and mm -hmm. of course you had Bobby Walmack at one point used to yes. work with with okay. Sam Cook along yeah. with Lou Rawls and all of these guys. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that, mm -hmm. but they all worked in that gospel thing. And both my parents are singers, okay. so I grew up listening to them in church and stuff like. When that. you say singers, singers in the gospel side or in singers the gospel? In the okay, gospel. that's in wonderful. Side, mm -hmm. Keep it them. in the family. Oh right? yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> keeping it in the family. Okay, and so when actually draw it out of yourself now, you decided said, uh, you know, I would like to do something as a is it a career of a <laughs> hobby for yourself. What happened with me after I went to university? at the university called Florida Memorial University. I became a part of what they call the uh, Florida Memorial Ambassador Career. Okay. And we would travel all over uh, America and then go into the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And from that, I said, you know what? I, I really love this music thing. After I graduate, I think maybe I'll, I'll try to venture out into it. Of course, my parents, you know, had other plans. Mm -hmm. But, you know, me being me, yes. I decided to, hey, I'm going to go for it because you only get one chance to live. So yeah. I'd rather do it and sit back and say, okay, I've done it. And if it work, it work. If it doesn't, I haven't lost anything. So at the end, it, it, you can't replace the experience with anything. So it's been wonderful for me. Nice to hear that. Um, actually, in saying that now, you, you are a solo person, is it? You do a you solo thing, is it? Or yeah. do you actually work with a group or anything? Is there any uh, highs and lows you can remember of, you know, you, you rode to yeah. where you are now? Well, with, with me, I, I've worked with the, my first gospel band that I worked with. We did Inspiration of Gospel. The name of that band was called Message. Yeah, we are talking over in England or are we talking in, 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 in America? In America, because it all okay. started in, in America in, for in, you. In, okay. in Miami first. Okay. Then when I come over here, the opportunity to come for me, because when I was in university, I used to choreograph yeah. a lot of shows for my fraternity, which is called Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Yeah. And what we had, national organization step teams that were that render these step programs mm -hmm. to more or less get kids off the street to get the young people involved that's good. in it. That's good. And yeah. it, it did a lot of soul and Motown type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So what I've done, I got the opportunity to come over to Europe, UK, Spain, 
and produce different shows, which was what I do for my bread and butter. Wonderful. So I do the tribute thing, and I, of course, this year is a Motown's 50th uh, anniversary. Mm -hmm. So I've created a show that's called The Sounds of the Four Tops. Okay. And we pay tribute to Motown, to the Four Tops, Temptations, and all other soul legends. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, well, that's, that's you do that yourself? Yes, I do. Okay. In, in saying that, you can get a sneak preview of just a, ch a ticker's track of what you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But on, on the soul tip? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Listen, go ahead. I was born by the river in a little tin. Oh, like that river I've been running ever since. It's been a long, a long time coming. And I know a chain gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. <laughs> Fine voice there. You're listening to Freddie Lee live here at New Star Radio 98.7. Freddie, it is wonderful hearing your voice here at New Star Radio. And I do believe it is your debut album we are listening to at the moment. Yes, for it the is. last couple of songs earlier yes, on the it program. Is. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, how did that actually come about, the songs? What actually inspired you with the songs that you've actually produced in this album? What inspired me, man, it was unfortunate for me. I was homeless. Mm. when I wrote this album and out of out of my hurt and betrayal of, of people who I thought were my friends um, man I lost everything I had man. and I was literally living on the streets and I was mm. sleeping in my car at the time I mm. never told my family I never told my parents and I said you know what I do believe that that the Lord wouldn't bring me this this far to leave me okay and sometimes I just thought about the story of Joseph God had it. Sometimes we got get dropped in the pit, mm -hmm. but He put us in the palace right next all to the right. king. Okay. And I understand that through it all, man, mm -hmm. I, I learned to lean and depend on God for for my guidance. For the words say, "Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean mm -hmm. not unto thy own understanding, Sunday. but in all thy ways yes. acknowledge Him, and He will direct our paths." And He did that. And through these songs, man, mm -hmm. it, it it brought me through through all of my tough times. And I, and I could tell you, man. No matter how much we go through, mm -hmm. God knows all He's about there. it. He's there. He knows all about That's it. That's right. It's a wonderful album. We heard a couple of tracks here earlier on on New Star Radio. And I'm um, very inspired by the album. Actually, I've heard uh, actually another DJ was playing this album mm -hmm. and it woke me up to say, who is this Tony Roots actually was playing it? And they actually linked me up with you, okay. which I'm pleased to have you here with us here on Thank New Star you. Radio's Urban Gospel Flavors. Uh, is there any particular track was your favorite track? I know they're all your favorite tracks. Is there one that all. stands out more for the a one reason? The that stands out more for me is the one called The Great I Am. The Great I Am. We're going to give that a spin right now. Mm -hmm. You're listening to New Star Radio 98.7. Trevor Jr. alongside Freddie Lee. It's 98.7. Keep it right here. Don't move that down. It's going to come. Hold on. Wonderful. I'll catch you even if you fall. Hold on. I know a change going to come. 